Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tax Supply Channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how to use batch request operation of a visual filter. If you have a requirement to perform multiple operation via single call, like if you want to create a record, you want to read the record, you want to update, you want to delete a record, and you want to bulk them in a single call, how you can do in a visual filter. So Visual Builder provides one batch request API, which you can use to perform a batch request. So guys, before I start, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. One more useful information, if you are willing to learn Oracle Visual Builder with a lot of real-time examples, you wanted to know the best practices, you wanted to know the debugging mechanism, the Oracle Visual Builder, how to secure your application. So there's a book of Visual Builder, which is authored by me. The name of this book or the title of this book is Effortless App Development with Oracle Visual Builder. So this book will help you to learn Oracle Visual Builder very quickly. So if you are willing to buy this book, you can go to this link, https colon slash less fact dot live slash 3MWSNR7, which will take you to the Amazon website from where you can buy this book. Okay, now so let's get started. Batch request. So VB or Visual Builder supports the batch request API, which can be used to perform multiple operation in a single call. As I explained, like if you want to batch multiple operation in a single call, you can do the same in a visual builder like get, create, update, or delete. Not only of a single business object, multiple objects you can include in a single call as well. The data is committed at the end of the request. And if any one of the operations yet fails, then complete batch is rolled back. For example, if you are performing two operation, create and update. And if any one of the operations is getting failed, like update is, has been failed because you have not passed the correct ID to update the record, then create and create is successful. Then what will happen? Create and update both will be rolled back. So it's all or it's nothing like this. Now, how, how you need to form your batch request. Okay. So the request, if you, if you, test it via postman so how you will test it right how what will be the body what is the request parameter not request parameter what will be the body what will be the url you need to use so the url will be the vp based url this is the post method and then content type you need to select application slash bnd dot oracle dot adf dot batch plus json so this is your request request and when you need to pass the body, this is the body which you need to pass like parts, okay? ID part one, it can be anything, unique ID. You can give any random ID like one, two, three, two, three, one. And then path, okay? Path means slash employee. The employee represents the business object ID here, okay? And then operation, like which operation you want to perform. If you want to insert the data, you will use create. This is a standard. If you use insert, that will not work, okay? And then payload. These are the valid field of my employee business object, like first name, last name, and then email address. So this is the first operation. And I am merging the another operation in the same call called update. And here you see the part two means ID. It can be anything. It can be part one as well. But it's 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 uh, if you provide a uh, unique, that will be good. ID part two path slash employee slash twenty one twenty one. Employee is the business object name and 21 is the unique ID, which is already there in the business object. And here I am performing the update and here I am updating the email address. Now in the part three, I am using again the same business object and then slash 27 is the unique ID of an employee. And here I am performing the operation delete. The fourth part slash employee slash one. And here I am getting the employee here you see the operation is cat. So I have merged all these operation in a single call. So instead of doing one by one, you can perform all these operation in a single call. Now, let me just take you to the visual builder screen 
first of all, and we'll show you a couple of things here. So you see my, I have this application. If you see the employee business object, okay. So in this employee business object, I have two records and you might be knowing every business object has its own endpoint. If you click on this endpoints, you can see create, get many, get one, update, and then delete. Since I have the phone as a, as a child object of the business uh, of this employee, so I have the phone collection. So if you want to insert and some record in the phone, you can use this endpoint also. And here we have the resource API as well like this, YC dev one. So this is the API URL, which we are going to use to perform the batch operation here. You see, if you're in the development phase, you can use the design. If it is in your staging, you have to use RT. If it is in the live, you have to use that, sorry, RT and then here live. So till data you need to use. So let me just copy this URL. Let me just form the complete URL in front of you in the postman. So this is my postman. Okay. Let me simply enter this URL, which I have taken. Okay. And then you see, I see builder design means this is the development. So this is the post and in the authorization, what you need to do, you need to add the basic authentication here. Okay. So the authentication is already there name and then password. Okay. Let me just update the password in case this is not correct. Okay. And then go to the body here. Now I need to select the content type content type, which is like, let me just take my contact contact type, which is like this. This is the not this one, sorry, my bad. Add up. Okay. Content type, not this one. Okay. Now go to the body here. And now go to a row and you can select fine. Let me just get the body. Okay. This is the same body which I have shown you in the presentation here you see the part one slash employee create okay maybe it has taken some wrong value not not wrong value i mean the the purpose. that's fine here you see path slash employee this is the business object operation create operation, first name, last name, email address. So it will insert this record. Okay. We perform this create operation in the second, you see, I'm using part two employee 21. Okay. This 21 must exist. It will not, it will throw an error. You'll see part three employee 27 delete and part four employee one. Okay. okay? Employee 21, 27 does not exist. So let's try to send and we'll see what will happen. Here you see 400 bad request because 21, 27 does not exist. And you can see the error, bad request not found, 11401. And here we see two errors. Okay. Now you can see part one. Okay. That's fine. Now let me just do one thing. Let me just use one. Okay. I have one. And let me just do, I have one user one, user two, okay. And I will try to get the value of one. Now let me simply say, number 10, 10, 26, this is my email ID. Now if I up, click on a send button, you can see, okay, because of use, this is on phone, that's fine. I cannot use it because phone number exists in the phone table against this employee. So I cannot delete it. That's fine. So let me simply go ahead and then no, remove it for the time being. Okay. Now, send. now here you see, you can see the response of each part which you sent part one. Okay. Create ID for 32. Okay. You can see the email address, Kumar Neeraj. Okay. Who has created that? 
the links and the rest of we can see the response of part two okay same thing last updated by this email address this and then part three uh, part four get okay the data of employee one you can see the email address which has been updated has been received in this particular thing now let me just take you to this uh voice is screen and will show you if you go to this data you can see neeraj.gen neeraj and email id has been updated so this is how you can perform batch request in a visual builder so now if you want to do the same in visual builder application you have to form that payload and use that particular api So guys, that's all about this lecture or video. If you have any question, please do let me know. You can post your questions over the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Now, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates. You can find me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. You can see my blog, https colon slash dash www.taxsuffer.com. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.